Hi everyone, Adron here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. In this video, we are continuing um, what I started in a previous video, uh, how I clean up ducks and geese. And here in this video, we'll make some stock, uh, brown stock actually. Brown stock and white stock are kind of similar. They're both easy to do. And I'll highlight the step you can skip if you want to make a white stock, all right? So this video will focus mainly on brown stock. When talking about stock, you want some bones, and here we will retrieve the bones of those uh, of the geese that I have. Uh, we will remove the rest of you know all the feathers and the skin that we are, have no use for. Uh, I already removed the uh, the legs and the, uh, the wings, and now we're only looking for the uh, you know, the, the abdomen and the, uh, the, the chest area. Don't forget to get the neck, you know, you have a lot of uh, goodness here. I will usually split the skin all the way up to the head, cut the head hair, and usually the, uh, the throat, you know, the esophagus and the uh, trachea comes out very easily. And you need to really clean everything, you know, all the blood clots, everything, clean all this, and don't forget to remove the lungs, okay? The lungs could be hidden because they're like stuck on the uh, upper part of the uh, thoracic area and uh, a quick glance you would think everything is clean but looks closely and you'll see like you know embedded in the ribs you will find the lungs and you need to go in and scoop them out so now that we have our carcasses let's start with the stock to me the stock start with a good mirepoix and mirepoix is basically onions carrot and celery and the proportion is Two part onions, one part carrot, and one part celery. You want everything to be chopped grossly, you know, you don't need to, uh, things doesn't need to be cut thin here, so large chunks, that's fine. Make sure also that your car carcasses are in manageable pieces, that you can handle, handle them properly. Here I have three goose, and I will lightly uh, coat them with a little bit of oil and sprinkle them with salt and I will throw them in the oven for about 45 minutes just to give them a nice color. In the meantime I'll start with the mirepoix where I will put the onions and the carrots in so, into some here duck fat and you want to really get nice color. As this is cooking probably you will also have your bones ready as well. Uh, you want some nice color don't be afraid to crank up the heat you know if you want to get more uh, brown colors in, in them and going back to the mirepoix when everything looks to you know start to, 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 to get some really really nice color you can add two tablespoons of tomato paste and we're almost done seriously it's that easy that's in the large pot you can drop in all the bones drop in the mirepoix I will add about nine liter of water here. A little bit of fresh herbs, and here it's thyme, but feel free to use you know, uh, things that you like, depending on what you want to cook later with it. Uh, I know something popular to add to the uh, geese stock or duck stock are actually fennel seeds. And here it is, you have a wonderful, beautiful, clear, broth of course you need to pass it through a sieve and I will pressure can some of it and I will keep the rest in the fridge ready to make some soup stews anything like that and that's it folks that's how I do my stock so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber always appreciated also don't forget that notification bell and thanks for watching folks I'll see you in the next video bye bye